Hey, gamers. I bet you thought I was gonna do more Peggle dinners, and so did I. But I'm actually back playing more Salty Bat. I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna... Maybe part of the reason we're having weird viewership on, like, certain series is, like, I need to pepper them. I need to do, like, one Salty Bat, one Peggle dinners. You know, one Silent Hill 2, and then one fucking... Pego? I don't know. There's not a lot of Peggle to go around, but... Uh, we got some lovely art here from jonline underscore ng. Uh, it's, this is a very expressive piece. I actually really, really like this. It, I mean, on the surface, surface level, it looks, like, very rough, but I actually love it the more I look at it. It's, uh, it's a great piece. It's very, uh, is this art deco? <laughs> is, is that, is that apt at all, or is that actually just completely missing the mark? And they also, they even were so kind as to leave a little space here that perfectly fits. The stream will begin shortly. What am I thinking of here? The little, like, his legs... It, it makes me think of, uh, the fucking Rhapsody in Blue bit in, uh, Fantasia 2000. Man, I did, like, I, I, like, I remember doing, like, a report on Art Deco and shit, so this is, frankly, a really embarrassing moment for me. It's just a wall of no's in the chat. But thank you, J Online NG. Uh, it looks great. I love my nice long arms. Uh, we're gonna do Salty Bat. Uh, exhibitions are running right now, but they'll be over pretty soon. And I also put in a little exhibition of my own that we can watch. It's not, it's nothing too crazy, but, uh, let's just lock in here. Jeez, I don't know. Are these, are these characters from like the same property or something? That's a really cool noise too. Uh, so yeah, I've got, I've got more money than I had last time. Uh, I'm pretty near that 20 million barrier, which is pretty crazy. Number 764 in the world. Top player. That's what I'm considering. <laughs> top 100. Top 1,000, I mean, <laughs> means top player. No, in the real world, I think top 100 actually does mean top player. The joke here being that I'm really not that close to the top. Uh... It looks like a dead blob enemy, the inked soldiers. Yeah, we've got the explanation in chat uh, for what Salty Bet is, but we are betting on AI. Uh, usually it's random fights. Right now it's actually in, like, request mode. Uh, and this is a special website and program that just, like, runs 24-7 and has, like, a dope playlist in the background of, like, cool video game remixes and shit and just video game music. And, uh... <sighs> you bet imaginary money on... AI of varying uh, skill and power. Okay, we got a Resident Evil themed one here, but I I don't really. What is that fucking sound? <laughs> it's also very jank a lot of the time. Uh, I really have trouble imagining. I guess seventy four percent win rate in A tier. What is going on there? And all the rest of them are like much lower win rates, but in S tier. Hmm. Yeah, and all the information before the battles is right over here. Uh, I don't tend to bet too much on exhibitions, but, uh, oh my god, it's her slapping her fucking hand against her leg. <laughs> That's so fucking funny. I just heard, like, straight up TF2 noises. Like, not only a gun sound, but also, like, a demo man with its head cut off. What is this music from? Is this Monkey Ball? Man, yeah, I got scammed, actually. I don't think Nemesis is gonna pull through here. Hunk is in a league of his own. What's going on there? Yeah, what? So, of these characters, by the way, three of them are in Marvel vs. Capcom 3, I think. Actually, is Jill... No, Happy... Okay, it says Happy Valentine. Is that a different character than Jill Valentine? Because Jill Valentine, I think these are actual official Capcom sprites. And then Nemesis and Albert Wesker are both in 3, which is a 3D game, but I guess people just made... 
These are probably based off their MVC3 appearances, and I don't know what the fuck Funk is. Yeah, and the info's down here. I've, uh, this number is who I bet for, so I bet 100,000 on Team B, uh, who is currently getting their dicks knocked off. <laughs> I like that sometimes people get knocked down to the floor in this game. They just, like, twitch around for a little bit, or at least in this round. I saw, like, Jill Valentine or Happy Valentine get knocked over, and she was like, <laughs> for a second. That's gotta be a UMVC3 graphic, too, right? Harama versus Haomaru. Yeah, I'm assuming Hunk is a Resident Evil guy. He was a bonus dude playable in Resident Evil 2. Well, there you go. So, Lark and I played some, uh, Team Fortress 2 yesterday, and recorded it and put it up, and we're gonna do more today. Uh, I I'm actually, like, really looking forward to it, and, uh, I think we're gonna do Prop Hunt. I don't want to get anybody's hopes up, but I think we're gonna do Prop Hunt. Uh, well, we gotta go with Harima here, like, this, it's no contest. And look at that, his sword isn't even cool. He doesn't even have a cool sword. It's just like a normal sword. Did you guys, by the way, see that, uh... Katana Zero Dev Esky Soft uh, posted a little update video on the DLC, and they said, the iconic line from Pizza Tower's development, still working on it. <laughs> there was just like a little bit of a, like a gameplay trailer, and then... Just in bright red on a black screen, just the words, still working on it. Which is crazy because I legit, straight up, totally forgot that Katana Zero was gonna get DLC. Katana Zero, in a strange way, kind of, uh... Felt a little incomplete, story-wise. Nicely done, Harima. Hoi! Uh... It, it, the story just kinda ends in, like, in retrospect, kind of a weird spot. So, it's kind of crazy how huge of a gap there's been, and the amount of time it's taken for this DLC to come out, it's like, you want to get your hopes up and think, that's probably because it's like a really substantial DLC, but I don't want to put undue pressure on the developer, who, you know, maybe just took a while because the developer has a life <laughs> outside of <laughs> developing games. But that's, it, it was exciting to see. It was exciting to remember that that existed. Cause that's a really cool game. This is mine! This is my one! This is my one. I literally just, like, right before the stream, I was like, okay, we're gonna be in Exib, so I might as well submit one. Just for fun. And this is my bear Exib. I looked through the list of my, like, past exhibitions. Oh! Holy shit, dude. Oh, dude! I got auto-modded for Craigasm Gay Bona. This is so 1984, I can't fucking believe this. Salty Bet, you've changed, and not for the better. Uh... I'm gonna go with Panda Genma. I don't know who wins this. We'll do a quarter mil on... on the Panda. Gay Bona! <sighs> Thanks. Th thank you guys for at least some some people are celebrating in our chat. In a place that is not shackled by censorship. Uh-oh. Oh, it's a- right, this bear is a Shoto. Oh no, dude. Dude, you can't do that. Oh, that's so fucked up. The spirit of Ken lives on in you, Haiguma. God damn it. Unbelievable. This song actually, like, bangs so hard. Oh, Panda was dabbing for a little bit there. It's literally just DPing him to death. That's so- that was pathetic, dude. Okay, that was kind of hilarious, though. Panda used to be beat here. <laughs> He's been grinding. I've seen- I'm pretty sure I've seen Panda again, but, like, do good things. I've seen it win, but that was... shocking. <laughs> Alright, we took a fat L. 
It wasn't really that fat. Alright, what do we got here? I don't recognize- Oh, always bet Kintaro. I know who that is. And I'm assuming this guy, I think, was the winner of the most recent tournament. Uh, this is the classic thing. They always gotta have a million of these in the fucking exhibitions. I can't believe I got censored on Gay Bona. That's unbelievable. It's like, ah. it's, I, The word boner didn't even get, like, written out. It's truly unbelievable. I always... It's just, racing games, I just don't, uh, care very much, I think. I, I don't even want to make this bet, man. You know what? You always gotta bet Kintaro. Uh... God, it's such a banger. I just don't really like racing games that much. Uh, it's like I need some zaniness. Maybe uh, the maybe I should try the initial D. I mean, I'm sure I haven't played a lot of them. The most I've played is fucking like Crazy Taxi, which is not. That's a pretty cartoony game. And like, what is it called? Like Outrun. <laughs> Outrun with like broken controls too. Look at him walking back there. Another reason that people spam this guy is because the, uh, the intro is, like, unbelievably long. And it's fucked because the intro plays out before it even starts counting down. Yeah, I n Isabel said that- uh, Isabel said something about how she, like, had, uh... <laughs> it was like, there's an arcade game in Japan there's like, some arcade game that like you can that people have cabinets for it over here, but you can only play it if you have this like card that you can only get in Japan. So she like paid somebody to go get it from a Japanese arcade and like mail it to her, so that she could play this initial D. And maybe it's so she could like unlock certain tracks or something. I don't know. But she also said that that's like one of the best arcade games ever made. I don't know which one. There's several, I think. Is there, I never really noticed, with Always Bet Kintaro, is there also, like, a crowd cheering when people get hit? That's kind of nuts. They're yelling, they're yelling Kintaro. How have I never noticed that? I feel like I've seen this guy fight here, like, a billion times. <laughs> Damn, that's rough, buddy. Oh, this song is really good. It's a shame these sound effects are completely overpowering it. <laughs> One of my favorite things with Salty Bet is just the constant, like... I know in a recent stream I, like, <laughs> said, like, Oh, hey, everybody, check out the Salty Bet stream! And now, particularly today, I'm seeing a huge flood of, like, people in chat going, like, What the fuck is this? <laughs> like, what am I looking at right now? And I do- I'm not- I don't blame you at all. Come on, Kintaro. You can do it. Yeah, finish him. <laughs> Oh, he punched right through him. That's awesome. It's always crazy when, like, those animations, like, uh, everything, like, grabs and shit in Mugen when you got this many, like, weird, different-looking characters. Uh, it's kind of hard to do the, like, positioning sometimes, but with the, a lot of the Mortal Kombat characters, I'm always shocked at how well the, like, execution moves go off. There's one where somebody, like, grabs you and, like, stretches you, they, like, pull your head and legs. And I've seen that it, like, takes your sprite and it, like, stretches it out like it's in Photoshop. Okay, Kintaro made us a little bit of dash there. Oh, God. Oh, God, okay. This is... Honestly, this kind of bullshit in Exibs, I kind of love. We're gonna go with, uh... Hmm. Hmm. I mean, clearly the monkeys are favored, but maybe this is some specific interaction where they, like, get fucked up. I feel like you never know. Let's just toss some, uh, a little bit of pocket change. <laughs> See, I'm actually betting what a lot of people would consider to be a, a quite a large sum of money. So by calling it pocket change, I'm belittling everyone else but me. Hope that comes across. <laughs> I 
All right. Oh, they're infighting. They're throwing hands with each other. It just looks like they're sitting around decking each other in the face. No. It, w gorillas win. Gorillas absolutely... How is this one-to-one? -one? Gorillas absolutely win this. Because you see right in the bottom left here, it says, like, the number of bad guys left. And they were just... I mean, they're just deleting them. And you can see that the Red's health bar is depleting very slowly while the guys get deleted. Yeah, they're serious Sam enemies. <laughs> Running, and it's so weird, whenever there's like perspective stuff, it's kind of like the Mike Tyson that like changes the arena to be uh, a punch-out battle. Uh, man, you know what's one that I haven't seen in forever is the guy, I'm gonna ask about it in chat. Anyone remember the guy who turns the game into a turn-based battle system? <laughs> we'll see if anybody knows. If Wabbit season was here, Felix. Hold on, could I maybe? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm going dark for a second here. I don't suppose I could sneak in another exhib with Felix, could I? Felix, but which Felix is it? Felix B. And uh, fucking New Age King. I don't know if this is, uh... Yeah, I think I got the right guy. Hold on, hold on. I know you guys can't, uh, see right now. We might be one away from being able to see it, sadly. Yeah, I think so. We're, we're a couple off. I'll... Maybe we'll see it next time, I don't know. It's just kind of neat. It's, like, very jank, but it, like, freezes the characters in place and makes them like, take turns attacking, and it, like, keeps track of the guy's, like, health and mana and shit. It's very cool. I should have thought of that earlier. I'm gonna get Bella banned too? No, I'm not. I mean, I shouldn't say that, but... What am I doing that's gonna get her banned? I was just asking a question. I've been in upstanding... There have been times where I've, uh where I have held back from speaking. Like that time that I won a tournament and people were like shit-talking me and I wanted to like say something snarky back and then I was like, hey, you know what, I just, I'll shut up. Because this is not my account. Something that I heard actually just earlier today on here is that, uh... Somebody in chat mentioned, they said like, oh yeah, Salty himself hasn't been here for a few years, but a while back there was like, kind of this huge purge of like, chat censorship, basically. And then he like, left and he, he's like, not managing the project directly or whatever anymore. I don't know if that's true at all, it might have been total bullshit, but that does make me think, because we never knew, we still to this day don't know why I got banned, I never got a reason. And, uh, I'm just gonna dream bet on this guy, even though... Actually, no. Uh, yeah. It might be a close one, actually. Uh, we, we never got notified, like, why I got banned in the past, so, uh, we don't necessarily know if it's because I was streaming it, and, like, I've gotten away with it so far for, like, ten episodes, so I think it'll probably be fine. This guy on the left, uh, I always kind of thought looked like Jon Stewart of, like, The Daily Show fame. Like, wicked fucking buff Jon Stewart. He's supposed to be the Terminator, I'm pretty sure. Some kind of Terminator parody character, but... Yeah, look at this. This is voice lines. Look at the fucking odds. I kind of figured they would be that stacked, but honestly, the battle is closer than I thought it would be. <laughs> 
<laughs> It'd be pretty crazy if we could make this bet. Oh, I'm not feeling too confident about his ability to uh, deal with that move, though. Damn, the magic pixel! Cringe. So clearly this is a Mega Man guy, but why does he look like that? Is there like a Game Boy exclusive uh, Mega Man game or something that he's from? Because the sprites and everything look quite good. I just don't know my Mega Man at all. There's like four. Of course there are. Sometimes, kind of recently, I know this is something that I sort of bring up a lot. Very nice. Is that, like, I've heard, and I know Mega Man fans, like, you have plenty to be angsty about, you know, as like a group of people. So, like, I understand that there's like some sort of, like, bitterness. But, oh, he's getting yeeted by Gutsman. I, every, every once in a while I'll hear Mega Man, like, fans be like, Oh yeah, there's not been any new Mega Man games. And I'm like, do you really need... That's another one like Castlevania or Pokemon and stuff where I'm like, There's so many Mega Man games. <laughs> like, do you really need more? Hmm, it's Jover. That was shockingly close. And the odds were fucking nuts. That would have made me a million dollars if we had won. Real Goku versus Runaway. Runaway is amazing. Runaway is a very, uh, abstract fighting game character. Yeah, and, like, so many spin-offs, too. Like, it's, like, really... Whatever. And, you know, Mega Man fans, I'm happy for you. There's so many games. And I'm sad for you that some of them don't live up to uh, the expectations set by the series. I don't know. It's just a difference in, like, personal... vibes, I guess. I don't know. It's not even, like, a good or bad thing. It's just... Personally, like, like for me, it's like big long-running series like that. Like, you guys have probably felt it in the last few like Mario games that I've played on stream. Where I'm just kind of like, yeah, like I get it, it's fun, but like, I could easily go the rest of my life without playing another one of these and be satisfied with the amount of M Mario in my life. Very nice. Good job, Runaway. Good boy. That's what we like to see. In and out, quick. Quick scam, run out of there. Very good. <sighs> okay. We've only got a few exhibs left, and then we're gonna get into true random mode. I really wish, like, exhibitions would be so much more fun if it was also... You get to choose the stage. I feel like that would be fucking amazing, but maybe there's... There's probably plenty of good reasons. Oh god. Cornflakes, I got! Cornflakes versus Frosted Flakes. Holy shit, this is hype. Oh my god, this is fucking poggers. Uh, Fatter Tony let us down, wasn't it? Or was it just Fat Tony? I think this is Fatter Tony. I'm really at a loss here. Uh... I really want to go with Cornflakes, Sagat, actually. Just uh, based on gut. Even if this is Fatter Tony, and he's got a higher win rate. And 1500 health, instead of 1028. Everybody in chat is saying Fatter Tony, and I'm gonna go against the will of all of you. If you vote right in the bet right now, you can steal my money. If you're so, uh, sure. So, the joke with Cornflakes Sagat is that he, uh... At one point in... One of the, uh, it's like the animated TV show, the, like, really dog shit animated TV show. Uh, he, at one point, says, do you want some cornflakes? To, like, he's, like, holding someone hostage, he's like, you like some cornflakes? Or, he says it in some really weird way. I don't even remember the exact line, but that's why this character exists. And, like, Tiger. This is, like, a serial Tiger-themed exhib. This is actually genius. They're both thematic to tigers and cereal. Everybody knows the classic themes of tigers and cereal.
Okay, it's a 1v1. He's got him in the corner. Fatter Tony doesn't seem like the most intelligent guy in the corner. We've seen this before. Very nice. Okay, now do it again. <laughs> yeah, that's what he says before the iconic cornflakes line. Uh, you guys are doing great right now, Sagat. It's actually kind of a poggers fight to watch, like genuinely, I'm enjoying this. <laughs> I'm just lost in the zen. Oh, and they charge at the same time, that's so cool. Earlier they did, they did like a frame perfect, like double back step together, and it was amazing. Oh shit, wait, no. No, no, no. Oh, they're hitting him with like Smash Bros combos. Oh, that's bad. Alright, round three, boys. Nice, they both rolled in and fucking tiger uppercut. That's so based. I like looked away for just a second. That was so cool! That was so sick! <gasps> oh my god! Why is this match so hype? I love you, Cornflakes Sagat. I looked away for just a second and yeah, look, that move has so, that does so much damage. That's fucked up, dude. You can't do that. No, there we go. They're gonna lose, man. As sad as it is, they're gonna lose. That that one super just does an unbelievable amount of damage. They can't combat that. Fucked up, man. Uh huh. <laughs> that was clutch. That was so fucking clutch. Holy shit, dude. And we knew it. I knew it. Sorry, guys. I had to go with my gut. I knew. Y'all said Fat Tony, and I had to be the. <laughs> I had to. I, I couldn't listen. I couldn't listen. You have to understand. When you're right all the time, sometimes you have to ignore the crowd. God damn. I do like Frosted Flakes better. Uh, corn Flakes. Who the hell fucks with Corn Flakes? We didn't even win that much money off of that, but that was hype. Uh, okay, and now we got these two losers. Uh, let's go with the sword guy. Why are we seeing so much of this dude? He, maybe he was in a tournament recently? I was gonna say, isn't Fat Tony a, uh... Isn't he a character in GTA 4? But that's Gay Tony. Totally different guy. Do you think Fat Tony and Gay Tony would be friends? I, I mean, I would eat cornflakes, but I, I would anyone. I feel like maybe this is like a psycho thing, or maybe every kid did this, and there's like no in between. I would just dump sugar into my cereal, like many scoops. Corn pops are goaded. I see there's another pops guy in the chat. Very nice, that was clean. Literally just raw sugar in like, Rice Krispies and corn flakes. It's cause my parents would never buy us like sugary cereal. Like, no way would I do it with, like, Cinnamon Toast Crunch or, like, Cocoa Pops or whatever. Rice Krispies are very sugary. It, tell that to my tongue, dude. Tell that to my fucking taste buds that are out here having a miserable time. Are you thinking of Rice Krispie Treats? <laughs> no, I'm sure they're probably packed with sugar. Cereal... Just in general, I think, in the States, is, like, so mental. Like, when I, like, I don't really partake in much cereal. Isabel kind of eats cereal more than me. Oh, cool. Well, we'll have the lovely, interesting cereal talk while this is happening. Uh, they make cereal that's, like, fruity pebbles, which are already just exploding with sugar that have marshmallows in them, the mini marshmallows. It's like, okay, 
back in my day, we had like Lucky Charms, you know, where it's like you got these dog shit little like wheat grain things that are the worst thing in the world, but there's also marshmallows in it. And it's like you get the kid to eat the fucking stupid. I'm not saying that it's like health food, but you know, there's kind of, you know, some parts of it that are, that are a little bit like modest. You know, but now it's like the si the flavors of like, you know, Cinnamon Toast Crunch and like tricks and Fruity Pebbles and shit have gone absolutely out of control. Like they're crazy. And and there's so many that's like, oh, now they're like each piece is filled with chocolate and covered in marshmallow. And it's like it was already just candy. And now it's so much more just candy. <laughs> You know what I fucked with, actually, that I think a lot of kids probably wouldn't fuck with? Raisin Bran. I, I think I fuck with Raisin Bran, and I feel like, honestly, that is one of the healthier. Like, it's really sugary, but it's on the spectrum of, like, sugary cereals, not the worst. I'm so retirement-pilled. Yeah, I also love tapioca pudding and ginger ale. Oh, I love ginger ale so much. Every time I fly on an airplane, I'm just thrilled. I also incidentally had the uh, the infamous Gorilla Munch cereal. I'll just bring up a picture of Gorilla Munch. We've talked about this before, but uh, it's like a regional cereal that is only sold, I think, in certain parts of the US. And it's like a Trader Joe's-ass, uh, brand. Some of you may recognize this gorilla, though. <laughs> if you were on the internet in, like, 2012, you probably saw him as the Don't Let It Rustle Your Jimmies gorilla. And I actually ate so much Gorilla Munch before that was ever a meme, and then when it became a meme, I was like, Fuck yes, Gorilla Munch is getting representation. It's this, it's like peanut butter flavored. It was actually, it was a dope cereal too. And then there was Puffins. Fuck Puffins. Puffins made me want to fucking kill myself when I was a kid. Like it was unbelievable. I can't believe they put that in a bag and sold it in a store for real money. Hop off Puffins. I'll hop off when I want to hop off. I am done, though. I'm incidentally done with my rant. I'm sorry, I should have had the shoe cam set up. Here, do you guys want to see my... Oh, never mind. I was going to show you my ass. But it just passed over. Gecko Moria. Okay, so now we're going to start getting some cool stages. Maybe they'll be cool. Uh, and we're going to get... This is now totally random characters. A hundred more matches till the next tournament. You can see down here. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, 26% versus 65. Oh my god, I've seen this guy. Okay. This is like a One Piece dude, and he's from, I think, Fatal Fury, if not KOF. He's Joe, right? He's the guy who, like, shoots tornadoes. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna dream bet, because the odds are probably gonna be mental. Gecko Moria won't shut the fuck up. I don't... Of course, the win rates are extremely disparate. <laughs> I love how I said, oh, we're gonna start getting cool stages, and then we got, like, shitty, like, phone picture from 2010. Twen. Isn't Gecko Moria from Undertale? I do not think that's from Undertale. <laughs> Okay, look at these odds, they're crazy. I'm one of very, very few believers, but for some reason Gecko Moria was just kind of sitting there for a bit. That was kind of cool. Yeah? Throw cards, yeah. Very cool, very tanky. A lot of damage or just another unknown's damage is, uh, like either Gecko's got a lot of health or unknown's a very honest character in terms of damage, considering his tier. Okay, it's not over till the fat lady sings, but it's looking pretty good right now. We might get that insane upset. 
And this is the thing, like, I tossed out, like, a moderate amount of money for this. That wouldn't really, like, it's not gonna be a huge loss if, if our guy does lose. Oh, he threw the Leafs at him, hell yeah, dude, I love the Leafs. <laughs> it's not really a big deal if we lose that money, but, uh... We can also, uh, make a ton off of it. It's just in that sweet spot. Where if there's a huge upset, then we get paid out huge. Oh, he's so fucked. Alright, round three. Let's fucking go, dude. Things just got interesting. <laughs> okay, there goes a third of his health bar. Doing good. Doing good, buddy. Okay, there goes another third of your health bar. And it's over. No? What was that, if not a super? Okay. Well, he gave us a little bit of hope, but like I said, uh, losing that 54,000 is really not that crazy. That's fucked up, though. Imagine, like, Lady Solus, who bet 250k. That might- it's probably a bot. I feel like a lot of times... Stuff like that is bots. Uh, Tarantula is a robot, I believe. That's a cyberbot, right? And Rin underscore B actually <laughs> rings a bell. I know that sounds stupid to say. Guys, earlier today... Oh, look at this stage. I was outside, I was like taking the trash out, and I heard on like the main road near my house, this car go like zooming by, and it was blasting music out the windows, and it was that, uh... It was that song? I don't know what that song is called, but I was like, wow, that is a Giga Chad. That guy knows what he wants in life. It was the, it really reminded me of the, like, Caramel Donson, like, memes that people make, where there'll be, like, a room that's just, like, got these, like, strobing rainbow lights coming out of it and, like, muffled Caramel Donson. Better off alone. I feel like I've heard that song like a billion times and I've never heard- that name rings zero bells, but I believe you. The song is- the song from the CSGO Kitties video. Okay. Maybe it is also just like a really common like sample that's used in a bunch of things. Uh, okay, our, our little spider is not really doing well. I don't know if Rin is actually from Tuhu's, but if she is, then I'm blaming stage advantage on her. She of course looks the part, but I don't know if that's actually, I mean, there's, there's a lot of fucking little girl characters on Mugen. She is a Tuhu's. Gao Geigar? Is this Gao Geigar's theme, guys? Yeah, he's cooked. This is one of those ones where there's just no chance. Alright, negative two win streak. N nothing to worry about here. We're gonna do great. I'm not really a TF2 player, why are some maps called Trade? It's, uh... It's just a type of map, because a lot of times... People just want to trade items with each other, like there's just an option for... Look at the people that you're on the server with, and have the option to trade things with them. That's all, really. There's just dedicated servers where you just hang out and trade. Oh, shit! I love this thing. This thing is very goo-goo-coded, but it's not actually a goo-goo. Which is crazy, but it looks the hell like a Goo Goo. Maybe Kozeni is a uh, pseudonym. I really, like, I... I almost don't even want to, like, bring this up, but I know, you know, you guys will be mature about this. And if you, you know... Don't get on my bad side, or I'll have to sick Guido on you. I would appreciate, you know, later on today, Lark and I are going to be playing TF2. I would appreciate if you don't try to, like, find us or whatever and, like, stream snipe. Uh, but, if, like, 
that all turns around if you can host a server with the map trade underscore abstract two. If you if you host a map, I don't know I don't even know how to like host a server on TF2. But if you somehow host a map server with that map on it, I will go to that. And you can say hi YouTube. Because uh, Bobby Joe, you think you can hook us up with that? Uh, my guy is not doing amazingly well. That would be amazing, Bobby Joe. Because I've seen it on there sometimes. Like, every once in a while I boot up TF2 and I go on and try to find Trade Abstract 2 and just, like, walk around for, like, nostalgia. But, uh... In the most recent one, I, I, I didn't find any. That's sick. Well, looking forward to it. I Let's, let's get in touch. Yeah, I'm sure hosting a server's uh, n nothing too crazy. I just I know nothing about it. People were roasting me, uh, and and you know I feel like, what can I even say to the roasts in the in the in the YouTube comments on TF2? Like, I know I'm terrible. I know I'm really bad at first person shooters. Uh, like, trust me. I can even launch the map myself using the console, whoa. I kind of feel like maybe at one point I found the actual like map file for Trade Abstract 2 and uh, I like downloaded it or something just as like an archival attempt because I noticed that sometimes there wasn't even a server hosting it. Yeah, I, I saw all the comments about automatic reloading. I had no idea that was an option. All 900 hours of TF2 I've played with manual reloading because I did not know that automatic reloading was a thing. We're gonna go with this one. This is a dull matchup. I literally had no idea. Yeah, I, listen, I don't feel too insecure about my lack of, uh, FPS skill. Like, I'm good at some things. <laughs> Copium. Lark was throwing me off so fucking hard with that voice filter. Oh my god. I had no idea he was gonna bring that out. It's funny too, because earlier that day, I was kind of thinking, like, because uh, voice mod the program on my computer updated, and I was kind of thinking, like, oh man, I should set up my old stream deck. Because I just haven't had that set up for a while, because, uh... USB ports are very, like, precious resource to me right now on my, like, aging computer. And so, uh... I was like, oh, maybe I should hook that up and, like, have, like, goofy, like, voice filters and shit. Because I had that for a while, and then I just kind of got bored with it after, like, a few streams occasionally using it. There was, like, one Twitch Scraps that had a bunch of, like, voice modulation bits in it, and then I was like, I'm done! New toy, please. <laughs> but maybe I should set up mine, too. Get a USB port thing. I mean, I have a USB port thing. I'm almost to the point where I'm daisy-chaining them together, <laughs> which is not... You're not supposed to do that. I enjoy this, like, 70s anime intro that we're listening to right now, at the very least. I really don't know what I'm listening to. Please don't make this three rounds. Nice! I don't know what the fuck happened, but I'm happy. Look at that, she has no health. <laughs> it really looked like she got hit. Oh, Goemon. This is Goemon music. Smoke? Oh my god, wait, these are both great. This is an insane matchup, if, if these are both who I'm thinking of. Smoke question mark is like a joke uh, Mortal Kombat character. And Scaled Worm, I think, is just a weird monster. <laughs> Let's see. No, Scaled Worm is a card? Scaled Worm is a card. <laughs> yes! I knew it was some goofy shit. We gotta go with Smoke, question mark. Let's do a kind of big bet. I'm Mr. Moneybags, we can throw this shit away. The colors even line up, which is fucking crazy. Smoke was also made by a man who went by the name The Magic Toaster.
so based. Man, like, a lot of my enjoyment of Salty Bet, too, is, like, the crazy music. I just love hearing all these, like, random ass, like, maybe some of them are obscure, some of them are just, like, known bangers. They got the hits here. Like, what the fuck is this? I only saw a little glimpse of the, uh, song name there. This is good shit. Uh, it's this, I guess. H. Yamamoto, Area 4, Planet Ocean, Aqua Bomber. I don't know what that's from, but I want to, like, write that down. Because this song is kicking my ass right now. I learned recently that, uh, Tim Fallen... This is an awesome fight, by the way. Tim Fallen, the famous, uh, composer of lots of, like, older video games, although he still works today, I think. Uh... Whoa. <laughs> what the fuck? He made the soundtrack for Echo the Dolphin, Defender of the Future, which I've actually played. Uh, and that- I, Bella and I were listening to that soundtrack, and it's actually a great soundtrack. It was just- uh, in that game, I remember being like, oh, it looks and sounds nice, but, like, the gameplay is infuriating. <laughs> But, like, that's another Tim Fallen. He just took the most random jobs. This is the Pictionary NES guy. This is the, uh, Plock guy. He was, like, he's, like, one of the most over-fucking-qualified OST composers in human history. This is so bullshit, by the way. Scaled Worm just auto-heals. Unless, like, all of... It it's like scamming him out, I think, to kill it. You have to do that last bit of damage in one combo, and Smoke is a fucking Mortal Kombat character. They don't tend to do a lot of combos on here. They specialize in just, like, random small hits, so the best he can hope for is a timer scam. Uh, he just needs to not choke hardcore. I think he's probably got it at this point. But look, there's no way he can combo all, all the way down to that. He's just got, in a way, kind of a hard counter if you don't factor in the timeout. Wow, Scaled Worm actually almost cheesed a victory out of that. <sighs> and I just realized that's the amount of health that Scaled Worm starts off with, just in general. Magic the Gathering cards recover to full HP on turn end. That's actually really clever. I don't feel good. I, it's not gonna happen. It's not happening. Smoke would need to either somehow actually kill it, which I just don't see happening, or somehow survive without basically getting hit once until the very end of the round. And I just don't think that's... I don't think that's in the cards, if you will. Yeah. It's over. Damn, Smoke. You let us down. Scaled Worm, that's such a bizarre fucking fighter. <laughs> Automatopoeia versus Adrenaline the Hedgehog. What the fuck? I do not recognize either of these character names at all. And we're going to the metaverse. Uh, this song is cooking me right now, dude. I am being prepared for dinner. Oh my god. It's a P tier. Looking at these fucking- both of these sprites, literally either of these of you had showed me to them, and said, hey, what tier is this? I would have said P. 12 and 16% win rates. This fucking OC donut steel looking ass over here. My god. I- I want to go for Automatopoeia. Sorry. It's on like a melty blood stage too, right? <laughs> Man needs Whoa. This is good too. So many songs on the Grapefruits Jams playlist. Danny So Peaceful. There, he said it. God, okay, if you've not joined us before, welcome to P-Tier. Sometimes the characters will just stand around and just do absolutely fuck all. 
This is also where like the odds are almost never like really skewed in P tier and B tier because people just don't know what these characters can do. It's where a lot of unknowns are. Hold on, I'm literally opening Notepad right now. Just so I can write down some uh, some songs here. What was it, Danny So Peaceful? Okay. Uh, I've got some really bad news for you guys. Adrenaline the Hedgehog is... Oh, Karma Tansen. Very cool. We were just talking about that. That's very cool. How long does that go on for, buddy? Jesus Christ. Adrenaline the Hedgehog is obliterating our guy. That Jigglypuff with the Carmel Dunson was hilarious. Do they ever do P-tier tournaments? I think... I don't think they're in, like, the normal rotation, but I think every once in a while, maybe for, like, a joke tournament... I feel like I've seen them before, and I feel like they even have a special rule of being best of three instead of best of five, like any other tier. Yes, P is potato tier, it is the absolute lowest tier. And we got some great classic, very skillful fighting game music uh, playing over this atrocity. <laughs> God. <laughs> By the way, during these streams, this is just like a blanket statement for all of these. If you're watching the VODs, uh, there's a good chance that certain parts of the VOD are gonna have weird audio because YouTube is like trying to- hey, CVS! Uh, YouTube is trying to scrub out copyrighted audio that would otherwise get my video blocked. Uh, this is just a hazard of doing salty bet, so... Please, uh, bear with me. This is the one that says tuna with bacon, too. <sighs> this is tuna with bacon. Okay. Okay. Hell, Lauren. It's a, uh, that sprite was... What is it called? Simon Black Quill from Marvel vs. Capcom? Blackheart, I think is its name. Okay. I'll believe in Akuma. I like Akuma. If it was SVC, I wouldn't trust him, but it's CVS. It's from Capcom's side, and I'm weirdly- I'm like xenophobic to the SNK. Straight up just Latin American <laughs> xenophobia. It's not actually true. It's just that I don't- it's just that I- I acknowledge I have an inherent bias towards some Capcom properties just because they're things I know. I know about them, and I apologize. Nice. Oh, I love that intro. That's so cool. I feel like I've actually never seen that. Where he comes down with, like, the palm strike on uh, M. Bison. Like, there's the iconic one where he raging demons M. Bison, but that one was actually beautiful. We still have yet to see- I swear there was a character on Salty Bet who had one of those, like, oh, there's a guy standing there, and then someone comes in and raging demons him and he crumples to the floor, and then somebody comes in and raging demons that guy, and then somebody comes in and raging demons that guy, like, and it happens like 30 times over before the round actually starts. I haven't seen them yet, though, in, in the intervening time. <laughs> That's great, I'm sorry. I spooked Shu. Oh, I'm sorry, buddy. I heard him jump when they made that noise. I don't know who the fuck Hal Lauren is, but, uh... He... he has the little, like, Akuma glide. Uh, did, so, I made, like, my Magnum Opus shit post the other day, by the way, or yesterday. Uh, the, the crop stomp farmer doing a raging demon. And it was all... it was inspired because... At a certain point in his walk cycle, the crop stomp farmer lifts his leg up in that way where he looks like he's in like the Akuma raging demon like glide pose and I was like oh what if I could make him like a little animation or a, a heaven studio track basically a, a chart that just plays out him raging demoning a mole 
it, and then I ended up putting so much time and effort and work into making this stupid shit pose, and then the one thing that I couldn't actually get working was making him do that pose, so he instead just runs really fast over to the mall. But that is still... It's... I, I, I feel confident in saying that that is my masterpiece. Bowser Jr. Versus, I believe this is a Ranma one-half character, just based on the art style. And we are in the- I actually- one thing I really love about Dragon Ball is, like, the aesthetics of, like, the afterlife. Because that's what this is, right? Those clouds, that looping cloud animation. Not these clouds, but, like, down here, that looks so bad. We'll go for Bowser Jr., I don't know. We're on a negative three win streak, so, you know. <sighs> Yeah, this is Bowser Jr.'s Partners in Time sprite <laughs> with the Mario World clown car. I like Dar. Like what the fuck? <laughs> Why is Bowser Jr. a shitpost character? That's gotta be Partners in Time sprite, and then the clown car is like the World Mario World one with like a filter over it. I, yeah, I don't even know, like, which... I'm assuming Bowser Jr.'s intro had the had the FNAF jump scare sound. I really don't know. People, Everybody jumped up in chat. FNAF? 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 Yeah, that's true. In Partners in Time, it's young Bowser. It's baby Bowser, who is a, a, a distinct and different character from Bowser Jr. There's literally... Baby Bowser, Bowser Jr., the Koopalings, and the Koopa Kids, and Bowser Jr., and he's dead. Like I said, Bowser Jr. twice. Common Rider, ooh. <laughs> Alright, keeping that L streak going, baby. Hot damn. Yeah, well, no, in in Partners in Time, young Bowser, like baby Bowser, has the bandana, it just looks different. It doesn't have Bowser Jr.'s, like, mouth on it. Common Rider, ooh, I'm betting against you, fuck you. Maybe if I lose one more, I'll start doing polls, and you guys can start choosing, uh... Who plays, or who who I bet for. Thank you for the uh, gift subs, by the way. And we've had plenty of, I, again, I don't really call out subs very much, but we've had some subs throughout the stream, and uh, always appreciate those. We're going to be doing, I think, a subathon soon here. I've been coming up with a little list of like rewards or like uh what do they call it a sub goal uh i've got quite a few things actually that i think will be compelling to say the least because it's like basically the vibe that i get with like sub goals is like it's basically like oh if we get this certain amount of subs i'll do this thing that's like maybe kind of unpleasant but not just like outright torturing myself <laughs> for your amusement is that kind of the vibe that I get sometimes, even if that's, like, maybe not the best thing to do? Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, we're probably, probably not gonna win this one. <laughs> Eating a boiled egg on stream again? No, that was, that was a very bad... The egg stream was bad. Okay, you know? Oh no. Nope. That super, that special move, I don't think it's even a super. That special where he launches like 50 of himself is fucking mental. Okay, let's start taking polls. Fuck it. Tong Poo! Tong Poo's from uh, King of Fighters, right? He's like an old guy, I think. Red or blue? Red. Blue. I misspelled the word red. Alright, vote now on your phones. 
Oh no, this is not at all who I was thinking of. What Tong Pu? Who's gonna tell her you can just stand normal? I'm thinking of Tong Fu. That's exactly who I'm thinking of. Tong Fu Ru. It's pretty clearly a Tong Pu sweep. We'll go with Tong Pu. You guys bring me out of this voting, this this losing streak. Like, seriously, they're running out of poses to do in, like, fighting game idol stances. Like, that can't be a good combat stance, right? Like, when you think of the pose that, like, a lot of people go into when they're fighting, where it's just like, your fists are up, you know? It's like, the reason they do that is because that's, like, a tactically advantageous, like, position to be in, in terms of, like, punching and fighting somebody. The, the hand above the head, sort of covering the face in, like, weird Jojo pose? I don't know what that's doing for you, uh... And she looks like a martial artist, but I just question the validity of that stance. I don't think you're going to be able to block or attack very well when you're hanging your fingers limply like that. <laughs> and of course, I am completely nitpicking here, and I actually fucking love zany fighting game idol stances. Little comments like that, it's like picking apart like a plot hole in a movie that you love, you know? Oh my god, what the fuck is that? No, what the fuck is that? What the fuck is that? <laughs> Tong Poo's like, I was not prepared for this. She summoned the beast. Uh, Tong Poo, I don't want to scare you, but the beast is right there and she's shooting a flamethrower. Well, she fights dirty. She called in a behemoth. <laughs> okay, so seal the deal. Nice. Oh my god. Even the thralls of hell couldn't fucking stop Tong Pu. Thank you for voting blue, guys. That was so based. Nappa. I forget who Nappa is. Okay. Another poll. I like the way this is going so far. What is this song? Alright. Nappa. He's a DBZ, right? Yeah. Oh my god, the seven grand dead. What is this, like, really tall Reimu? BS Reimu. This is P tier, though. P tier Dragon Ball Z and Tuhu on the seven grand dead. Alright, who are we voting? We're voting red. Look at his fucking face. Look at his fucking face. Like, seriously look at his face. He really, like, it legit looks like Mr. Potato Head. He brings a whole new meaning to Potato Tear. When do we get Channel Point? You can just go to this website and make your own account and just bet like this. You don't, we don't need the Channel Points. Channel points are always, like, this breeding ground for, like, bad feelings, bad vibes, toxicity in a chat, I feel like. This is not looking good, frankly. It's looking like Blue is gonna get a huge upset. It's like, comebacks are a lot less, uh frequent in P tier, I think. <laughs> like, this is not- they're at roughly the same amount of health right now, but... Just when you see, like, the overall trend of, like, how a fight is going, it's like, eh, comebacks are not super likely. Okay, hey, look at this. Nappa, you're doing good, you're doing good. Now just run away. Simply run. Oh, oh, he got scammed. We got scammed so hard. That was actually shockingly hype for P tier. Highway robbery. That's so true. I feel as though I am on the highway, being, having all the money sucked out of my fucking wallet right now. Nappa, you're a huge disappointment. My thoughts, too, on, like, really low-tier Tuhus is, like... 
they gotta suck to be in P tier, because, like, they're usually so, like, kind of bullshit and, like, projectile heavy and, uh, oppressive, but here, uh, she seems like just an honest P tier with a win rate of 16%. Uh, Alright, there's another quarter mil down the fucking drain, boys. We're doing good. At least I, li you guys made that decision, though. So, I can blame it on you. Oh my god, Yuri Dia. You guys are gonna love this. I'm gonna need to see it in chat, and you'll know what it is when you see it. Oh, what, what does he want me to type? You'll know. You can win it all back with a big bet. That's so true. Paul? Come on, get those bets in. Uh. Hold on. I know it's late. It's late. Okay, start start voting now. Now, vote on your phones now. How about we start like standardizing it so I do 200 thousand bets more. I'm seeing pretty clearly uh, Sam Dark Samus. We're gonna go for Dark Samus. Thank you all for your votes. This is Shaq Fu stage. <laughs> Alright, one to one, baby. There he is. <laughs> Hopefully we won't be able to hear Yuri scream very much, uh, because he'll be too busy losing. <laughs> I think one of the things that makes this character very enjoyable, too, is it kind of seems like it's not a joke. Like, they didn't do this to be funny, they just genuinely put that scream in, like, that frequently. Sometimes, like, when he's winning, and he's actually, like, doing moves, he screams like that so frequently. Here, thankfully, he's getting the shit kicked out of him, so we're not hearing it too much. Thank you for your screams in the chat. Very cool. <laughs> There's something, it's kind of like a Dark Souls joy of hearing the a scream with like the exact same like texture to it every single time like over and over again like when you there's an area where you just keep falling off ledges in dark souls and they just keep going like ah, ah, like just over and over again oh shit this is something i wonder hey vod people the audio might be about to get like kind of bad for a little bit because we're probably going to get a copyright claim for this. <laughs> There's a banger song, though. I made, like, a cringe King DDD uh, montage in Smash 4 to this. That, uh, looking back, was genuinely pretty bad. Nice. Yeah, and Dark Souls 1 also has the... Oh, that pain sound. Which is just amazing. Oh. It's like, what were they thinking when they put that in the game? I'm pretty sure this one is copyright claimed because I remember my uh, Smash montage getting uh, demonetized or whatever. But that that really that didn't actually mean I got demonetized back in those days because I wasn't actually monetized at all. All right, X tier, and they're very close in rank too. Shit, sorry. Uh, R, B, red or blue, vote now. I just mashed and I typed the word rareware in the title of the uh, poll. Uh, so what are we going for here? Oh man, it's neck and neck. The last one that I saw was red. Yeah, we're going with red. Okay. Uh, X tier is the highest tier. You have to be manually placed into X tier in order to, uh, be, like, normally characters kind of naturally 
move up and down the ranks, but uh, in X tier, they have to like single you out and be like, yep, this guy's totally busted, they're going to X tier. Look at this bitch. Oh my god. Geese just crouching in the corner like a little bitch baby. Something about her projectiles is breaking his AI. He keeps like blocking when he doesn't need to. She does have moves a lot like the Radiance. That's funny. Yeah, the poll ended up being exactly 50-50. That's funny. Alright, hey. Pretty good, pretty good. <laughs> oh, hell yeah. Weiss Gwitly gear. <laughs> I love this character. There's multiple characters on here that are supposed to be like, oh, this character, but Guilty Gear style. But they, they mistyped it, so it's this Gwitly gear <laughs> instead. <laughs> Okay. I kind of love how, like, the world of, uh... <laughs> DDD Smash montages, like, everybody just agreed that, like, Electro Swing was just his, like, thing. I don't know why, but it just works. It just simply works. Looking like Red, looking like Gwitly Gear. Yeah, let's go with Gwitly Gear. It's like, I don't- I can't think of, like, anything, like, DDD is in no way associated with, like, jazz or anything like that in, like, Kirby canon as- I mean, as far as I know. But we just simply decided that it was, uh... Yeah, in Penny's Big Breakaway, it's established that penguins have a strong connection to Electro Swing. <laughs> they literally just blast it all day on speakers in their homeland. Okay. This song seems appropriate for this very, like, anime fight. I'm pretty sure this is an Arcana Heart character versus a Melty Blood character, and I don't know what the stage is. Although if I had to guess, I'd say maybe this stage is also a Melty Blood stage? Wii U owner and band kid overlap is strong. That's actually extremely accurate. Please put down the sniper rifle. It's a fate stay night stage. The fuck is fate stay night? <laughs> Alright, come on, Gwitly Gear, do it. Oh no. Nice. Barely eked out a win. I'm in the background behind this window on my monitor is just the Gorilla Munch Gorilla just like peeking out from Google image result search results. He's just staring into my soul. <laughs> my eyes keep wandering over to him. I like the guy in chat whose name is, and I must quote this, I must turd. I must turd. What a cool name, man. What a great name. Very cool and good. The song is also kind of a banger. Karen Beyond the Bounds E. Sherrix remix. Cool. Yeah, it's kind of a banger. Melodic. That's a Pokemon, right? On Laharl's throw room. Laharl. I'm enjoying just vibing. Laharl is this this guy. Oh, another X tier. Very interesting. Uh, let's get the pole. Get the pole. Yeah. Okay. Those fucking penguins. There's this guy who is at some of the card game events that uh, Bella and I will attend, who is like, and I don't want to just like slander a guy, but that is basically what I'm doing here. He's like 40 or 50 fucking years old, and his playmat 
in, like, fucking Shadowverse Evolve or whatever is, like, this extremely sexualized art of this character from Disgaea. And he's, like, he's got, like, gray hair. He's, like, a middle-aged man, and he's playing with this placemat. I just don't know what kind of guy you gotta be to do that. <laughs> like... <laughs> Like, you know we can see that, right? <laughs> and then... I also saw- I've seen some baffling shit at cards events. There's this guy, who again, and like, these people are always perfectly nice, and like, they're- they're not- I mean, they're not- they don't act horrible to my face or anything. But just with strange... strange apparel, strange, like, things, uh... This guy had a shirt that was just, and he's just wearing this to cards night. It was just like this anime girl, like pretty anime girl, making like an okay hand with one hand and using her index finger of the other hand to do like a sex motion with the hands. That was just a shirt. That was just a shirt that that guy looked, he looked in his closet, he looked at that shirt, and he said, yes, I want to be seen in public wearing that shirt. And like, you know what? I guess more power to you that it, I just I feel like I would not be caught dead wearing something like that. Oh shit, Melodic just won. It is like the Ahegao sweater, but even then, like I feel like the Ahegao one at least has this like facade of irony to it. Do you see the meter on Melodic, by the way? It's just constantly ticking up in the thousands. That guy went on to become a U.S. Senator. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, hey, Frisk. Uh, I just don't... I just don't know. It's like, wow. I must be, like, I, I guess maybe I'm just an extremely self-conscious person, but I just feel like... That's just unbelievable behavior to me. <laughs> okay, alright, alright. Uh, Frisk, I think I've seen do some work. I, if you don't mind, I'm gonna override. We're gonna do a Frisk bet. Because I think I've seen this character, like, kind of kick ass before. In, in times when it seemed like they were going to get destroyed. I mean, yeah, I mean, I, I am extremely self-conscious. Uh, I think, you know, streaming will kind of do that to you. <laughs> to a certain degree. I also feel like it's definitely not normal to bring stuff like that to a cards event. I mean, maybe it is normal, but like, you know what I mean. I don't think that's exactly appropriate. I don't know. <laughs> I'm no prude, but like... Huh. I mean, I'll just say what it is. It's cringe. Let's just call it what it is. Frisk got bodied. Frisk is fucked. Prove you're not a prude right now! <laughs> I don't know. What do you want me to do? Yeah! Kids go there, dog! Yeah! Yeah, what if a kid fucking, like, walks by your, your like, stinky Disgaea placemat and, and sees a, like, hyper-sexualized character that looks like they are about ten years old on it? You know? <laughs> I know it's commonly, like, a lot of people go, oh, think of the kids, but, like, really? What the fuck? Yeah, oh my god, the same- yeah. Fighting game tournaments have the same kind of energy. Mm. Okay, this is... This is very exciting for King of Fighters fans. I'm sure. We're gonna go with the Rugal. I feel- who the fuck are you? Get out of here. Clone Zero? You are a Zero. You're nothing, Clone Zero KOFM.
Uh, polls are over, I guess, for just the time being. I, I might, you know what, let's do it next fight. Next fight, let's do a poll. I don't know, it's, uh, it's literally born of my laziness. <laughs> so, let me just, like, get the next one prepared. I don't know, that's stupid. I really wish he could just... There must be a better way. Can you, like, do a straw poll and, like, reset the poll over and over again? So you guys can all just have, like, a link with just the same poll that just keeps getting refreshed over and over? Is that a thing? Uh, Rugal, please fight him. There's also somebody with a playmat at a card game thing that I go to that's, like, you know... This anime girl in, like, a maid outfit with, like, her fucking... With really, like, pronounced, like, nipples showing through her fucking shirt and stuff. And she's wearing tights, and there's a band-aid on her knee over the tights. And I can't... The entire fucking time, whenever I'm, like, playing against this guy, I'm always looking at this stupid band-aid just going... Why did you put a band-aid on over your fucking tights? That makes no sense. <sighs> It's like, I can't, it's the little man in the guy's hair. I can't stop looking at it. I just obsess over it and I want to like bring it up with this guy, but I know he'll just think I'm being a pedantic ass. Okay, pull. Red. Blue. We got a common rider fucker. What card game does Gray play? Uh, so... I play... Ooh, the poll's pretty close. I know... Several. And I basically just play them, like, with Isabel. It's kind of just one of Isabel's interests that, uh... I am, of course, happy to partake in. When it reaches zero, whoever's top... Okay, red. It was a really close-fought battle there in the poll. It's currently exactly 50-50, but when it said zero on the screen, it was red. Uh, I play Shadowverse Evolve, which is kind of a lesser-known card game. I know how, like, I have played Pokemon, uh, Digimon... I've, I mean, in my childhood I collected Yu-Gi-Oh cards, but I never actually played the game. Uh... I know... Weiss Schwartz? I know Card Fight Vanguard. I've played quite a bit of Vanguard and quite a bit of Weiss Schwartz. But right now we're in our uh, Shadowverse phase. And then there's also Lorcana, which is the Disney card game. Which is like something that I never would have got into in a million years. Look at this fucking rain, by the way. Uh, but Isabel introduced me to it, and it's actually like one of the more fun ones to me, personally. Weiss Schwartz and Vanguard are like really. I feel like they're not super beginner-friendly, and I think Isabel would maybe disagree on those, but it's just how I feel. They've got really, like, poorly written descriptions. I love how this is just happening while I'm casually talking about Cardfight Vanguard. Cool combo, dude. The, uh, the descriptions on the cards are, like, so poorly translated. And, uh, it kind of takes some of the fun out of it for me. And they're also... They work with such large numbers. It's like... People sing the praises of, uh... Paper Mario and, like, the Mario uh, RPGs for having really low... Uh, values on, like, you know, points of damage that you're doing and sh stats and shit like that. And it's like Shadowverse and, like, Lorcana and shit. They have really simple, low numbers that are easy for me to work with as a... A math-stupid person. Uh, but then Cardfight Vanguard and, like, Vice Schwartz, it's, like, dealing in, like, multiple thousands and, like, tens of thousands of damage, and I'm just... I just lose track of it. It's just hard for me to think about. Ball Form Felicia. This is Felicia from Darkstalkers, but only in her spin move. We have to vote for her. I'm sorry, I know I said we were gonna do a poll. I'm sure... well, we did a poll last round. I'm sure you guys would have bet for Ball Form Felicia anyway. Oh yeah, and I've played plenty of Poker Night at the inventory in Poker Night 2. I genuinely have so many hours in Poker Night 2, it's embarrassing. 
And that was another one where, like, just like TF2, when the VOD comments there were just all people going like, Dude, you suck so much at poker. I cannot believe what I'm watching. Also, uh, worth mentioning now that Darkstalker's characters almost never win on Salty Bet, even if they're funny. There's like this one Bishamon that actually usually does pretty well. I feel like I've almost never seen any Darkstalkers character do even remotely good on here. I'll just start up a poll for the next one. Actually, look, ball form Felicia's getting some work done, and it's even all of a sudden, and now she's losing. Now she's winning. We're so back. We're so back. It's so over. All right. Oh my God. I think I know who you guys are gonna vote for here. Uh, if Shrek wasn't cool enough, we got cool Shrek, okay? Does that sweeten the pot for you at all? Is Sweet Apple Acres from, like, fucking My Little Pony? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's cool. Okay. <laughs> Alright, we're going with Cool Shrek. In an overwhelming victory that anyone could have seen coming. Cool Shrek. I wonder what the fuck that sprite is from, you know? What makes him cool, exactly? <laughs> yeah! <sighs> Gotta be GBA. The, the palette does look very GBA. There's also... Do you guys remember when I played... Uh... Oh, I don't remember what it was even called, but the Shrek fighting game on the Game Boy? I actually streamed that at one point, and, uh... The, the version of Shrek from that game is on here, and he's, like, in S tier with, like, a 72% win rate. Like, he dominates. Yes, I was also thinking this is very likely to be the thumbnail for the VOD. Dude, Shrek, that is not cool, dude. My god. Get your shit together. But he's not even- his moves don't even, like, seem to do anything. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> it's really hard to tell what's, like, fucking happening right now. Oh my god, he actually came back. This is B tier, right? So it makes sense that they're, uh, kind of stupid. <laughs> He's cool, that means slow. Oh, I didn't know that. So I'm very cool, right? Okay. You know what, Cool Shrek? Conserve your meter. Just build meter for the rest of the round, and we'll take it up in the third round. I feel like that first round was, like, the biggest fluke of all time. Like, Cool Shrek won, like, 50 coin tosses of, like, random RNG chance to get that dub. And now it's- his luck has run out. We just had the, like, 50 heads in a row and we're back to just, like, a normal distribution. Fuck, normal distribution actually, like, means something specific in statistics, doesn't it? Oh man, Shrek, come on, dude. He's got a little, like, Shrek Tatsu going on sometimes, which is very funny. It's like sometimes Geese just, like, sits there and lets Shrek wail on him. He, like, gets inside your mind. Ah, uh, Shrek, you lost the momentum, man. You had such good momentum, and now it's all gone. Damn. Die, Hippo? That's fucking rude. Okay, let's get another poll open. A failure -er. <laughs> This is cool Deltarune music. I love Deltarune. What is... <laughs> Those sound clips. 
Is that from uh, Sakura? The Sakura voice lines? Oh my god, Mike. That Mike. Okay. Uh, it's looking pretty stacked in Red's favor, but I think people probably didn't realize that it was Ninja Turtles Mike. Yup, Blue just shot up. Blue just fucking shot up, because everybody's saying Mikey. Oh, Mikey! This song is so good. Uh, weirdly enough, I was not thinking of the Ninja Turtle, I was thinking of... Mike from Street Fighter 1. But, like, no way there would be an EX2 version of Mike. <laughs> the, the black dude in a red shirt who stands in, fr in front of uh, Mount Rushmore. Uh, well... I've got some good news. It would appear that Mike whoops ass. Like, he absolutely slaughters. He just went, ah! He screamed at him. They totally should bring back Mike in Street Fighter 6. They should make it so that in order to play online in Street Fighter 6, you have to win, do like a 1cc clear of Street Fighter 1, the arcade mode. I think that's a good idea. Did you see that DP do literally half of his health bar? Like, exactly half. Riding Thunder! Oh no. He's got a corner combo. Yikes. Oh! Mikey, you're alive? Chip, got him. Oh! God, that DP is so criminal. That's just fucked up, dude. You can't do that. Hit him with one more, baby. Yeah! <laughs> it's like a multi-hit DP that does that much help. Yikes. Okay. Let's get another pole going. Let's just see. Uh, G Impact. Is G Impact a funny one? That name rings a bell. Yes, it is. This is another one that sort of changes the uh, perspective of the game. It's Goemon and Ibisumaru, I think, piloting a giant mech. <laughs> Let's just see how people vote. Yeah, pretty... Uh, Pretty, uh, actually, no, just, like, normal, whelmingly red. Not overwhelmingly. Okay, it's getting kind of overwhelming. This thing is so fucking jank. I remember seeing people pit G-Impact against, uh, Golgo13, who also does a similar kind of thing. Alright, let's just see how this goes. It, with a lot of these, like, goofy-ass characters, it's, like, just a question of... Will the AI, like, break, basically? Like, will they just jank out and not be able to handle it? That's so good. Yeah, get out the balls. <laughs> One more spin ought to do it, boys. Okay, or balls. <laughs> very cool. Very, very cool. Bobby Drake Iceman, which, by the way, Isabel and I have had, like, this running joke. There was one point where she said, like, oh yeah, I always used to play the Silver Surfer in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. And I was like, erm, babe, the Silver Surfer isn't in Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Uh, fake gamer. And then, she eventually, like, there was much confusion and discussion about this, because she kept, like, insisting that it was, uh, the Silver Surfer, and then I finally was like, are you thinking of Iceman? And she was like, no, and then I like, put up a picture of Iceman on the computer, and she was like, yeah, <laughs> that's the one. So she never realized, she always thought it was the Silver Surfer, and now it's like a running joke that whenever we see Iceman, we call him the Silver Surfer. Okay, uh... Oh my god, Doctrine Dark is from, uh, Street Fighter EX. This must be- I think there was, like... 
a while back when we saw the like sprite art skullomania there was somebody who commented on the vod and said like yeah my dad made those like street fighter ex sprite characters or something and i have no idea if that guy was telling the truth or what but uh based if true and i think that would make this also be another one of that person's characters i would assume because it's like similar looking and it's sprite art of a street fighter ex character Doctrine Dark had, like, bombs and shit. But he's B-tier here, so I'm not really, uh... I don't really have high hopes. Man, Scorpion, you do no damage for a Mortal Kombat character. That is just pathetic. Nice, yeah, he's laying down the bombs. He's got his knives. <laughs> nice. People are saying that's, like, way too specific to be a lie. Like, I feel what you mean, but take it from- I was talking about this with Andrew in TF2 yesterday. When I was, like, an adolescent, I used to just kind of lie about things sometimes. And something that- and literally just, like, for attention. Like, it's just, like, being a shitty kid. And, like, sometimes- and I'm not trying to say that the person who said- like, I'm sure- I- I'm not trying to accuse anyone, but I'm just saying there is a possibility that they would make that up because sometimes when you're doing that like little like pathological liar like attention seeking thing you latch on to the things that are so specific that like seemingly no one would ever lie about that right it's like that's the defense coming from somebody who lies a lot <laughs> not actually i'll finish him our guy died oh and that was a lame finisher no i don't actually lie a lot it's a sin to tell a lie. Bionicles. Oh my god, and K Failure showed up again. Let's do a million on Bionicles. I'm feeling it. Bionicles is fucking hilarious, too, because it's just a gigantic, like, mob of Bionicles. Goemon's Great Adventure soundtrack, by the way. Oh, and they come out of the little capsule. Man, I remember this. I had this guy. I had a bunch of these guys, of course. Uh, and I think his sword was broken, and it was, like, held together with glue. Let's do a mill. A cool mill. You know what? Let's do more than a mill. I'm feeling crazy. Let's go absolutely nuts. Oh my god, beats in my head. We're doing about one and a half million. Just cause Bionicles LMAO. It's looking like it might be a close fight, we'll see, you never know. Bionicles is a very gimmicky character, so they might get destroyed, they might destroy. It, it does feel kinda nice to be the top better, it must be said. Okay, so the Bionicles just stood there and are now getting corner comboed. Where are the other Bionicles, dude? Bring them out. Bring out the other Bionicles, please, yes. It's Liwa, or whatever, is that? No, Liwa's the green one, right? I forget. Yeah, that's Liwa right there. Hell yeah, dude. Okay, beat his ass. Beat his ass. Beat his ass. Come on, he's still actually holding his own against them, which is really scary. Oh, it's not looking good, dude. He might even win by a timeout. Even if they manage to stall him out, his blocks are way too good. Oh, it's fucked. It's so Jover. <laughs> the classic move, riding on the lava rock. Just like that fucking, like, trailer for Bionicles. Come on. No, he just barely still won by the fucking health. Damn it. The timer scam. Look, there's Pohatu doing his famous kick move. His leg was like a specific kind of, like, Bionicle piece. So that he could kick his little rock. Okay, but look at this. Now there's not going to be that period of time at the beginning where the, the red guy is getting beat up, you know? What was his name? I know they're called, like, the Taho, right? Or the Tahu... Tahu Nui? I forget, actually, entirely. Their fucking names and all the terms. Okay. I like this so far. If all the rounds could go like this, that would be beautiful. That was huge. Okay, now do it again. Do it again. 
That's Rob. The Toa. Yeah. Tahu is the red guy. Oh no, dude. Nope. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Okay, stop. You gotta stop. Okay, you gotta stop. Okay, stop. Okay, you literally need to shut the fuck up right now. Okay, you literally need to shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> That was something that Andrew kept saying in TF2 that made me laugh so hard. He was doing it in the voice chat. People would like, he would say something stupid and then people would respond to him and he'd be like, you literally need to shut the fuck up right now. You literally need to shut the fuck up right now. Shut the fuck up right now. <laughs> yeah, we lost. We lost. Gutsman. I think Delanor, uh, what is she from? Is she from Rival Schools? Is she the, uh... The, like, Viola girl from Rival Schools? Let's see if I'm right. No. Oh, but she looks like that. She's like Arcana Hearts or something. But she actually looks very similar. She's got the same kind of hair. That's why I was thinking of that. Alright, alright. Gutsman. I gotta go Gutsman. I gotta go with my gut. She's from Umineko, Umineko, Umineko. <laughs> Gutsman is floating slightly off the ground, which makes him seem very powerful, I think. I'm also gonna probably log off kinda soon. Uh, I wanna go eat food, and then uh, Lark and I are gonna play some TF2, I think. I love how he spawns in, I'm sure that's some like Mega Man shit, but to me, those little like bars that show up to like spawn him in really looked like the teleporter in Half-Life 2. This is not good, dude. <laughs> Gutsman, you, you really disappoint me, man. Dude, Gutsman, this is pathetic. Unbelievable. Dude, look, there that thing left on the ground, that was like the points pickup, right? Or was that like an enemy, like, soul? I was watching some video about uh, how the, like, the points system in Mega Man. That channel is very good. I forget what it's called, but that channel is very good. And, uh... They talked about how there's like a unique power-up or a pickup that shows up just like a small handful of times in Mega Man 1. Very interesting stuff. And it's like really unclear what it even is, because like the different manuals say totally different things. She just walked on his ass. She literally just did a walk and it did damage. That's the same guy who made a video about like if it's possible to soft lock yourself in uh Zelda 1 with keys, and it's like, the whole thing is kind of rendered moot by the fact that, uh, you can buy keys infinitely from stores if you grind rupees, but it was a fun little thought experiment anyway, and it was a very interesting video. And that's something I always kind of wondered about when playing, for me it was Zelda 2, uh, seeing if, or thinking about just the way that keys and dungeons work there, if there was a way to, like, fuck yourself out of it, but... They, they basically designed to not have that happen, more or less. I think he said that it's possible to get stuck in Master Quest in, like, Game 2. Uh, Gutsman is really turning it around right now. Can he keep it going? Bring out the big tank. Nope, and she just iframed right through it. God damn it. Uh, and he got SPD'd. It's not looking too good, Guts Bros. It's so Jover. He put up a good fight, but he just didn't have the guts in the end. Yeah, that tank just ain't doing anything. It's just yapping away. Venomu. Okay, how about let's, uh, let's just do one more poll. And I'll do, like, a pretty big bet on it again, just for fun. 
Like, I'm, I'm really at the point where I'm like, let's just have fun with the money that we have. And like, if I run out, then I run out. I don't want to like go too crazy and just blow it all at once, of course. But, uh, you guys can vote on this last one. I'll put like, maybe like 400k on it. We'll see how that goes. I thought it said author unknown, but it's actually Unko Man. Oh my god. It's quite even. I'm shocked at how frequently it's like exactly 50 50. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. Speaking of statistics, let's do it on red. One of these days I'm gonna mistype and accidentally do like 4 million instead. Yeah, sadly, neither of these characters are funny. It's so true. Red is more based because he's from MVC. And there you have it, folks. Raging Demon. Did you know that the guy part of Venom canonically has sex with the monster part of Venom? Where is that established in the canon, uh, pray tell? <laughs> I'm just imagining that, like, while... It's like that judge that got in trouble for using a penis pump while he was, like, sentencing people on the, like, judge's stand. I'm just imagining Venom just walking around, and Venom is just going... There's just, like, a noise constantly happening. It's just jerking him off. <laughs> Where, what chapter? When do they, when do they establish that, huh? The guy part of Venom gets the Venom part pregnant in one of the comics. <laughs> Guys, y'all are just making shit up. It, the thing is, this is actually pretty believable. Uh, okay. I think, yeah, let's, let's just be done. It's another boring one. Uh, even if there, there is a potential for a crazy upset. Let's just call it quits. Bionicle was very exciting. Uh, sorry it's a bit of a shorter stream. But, uh, I gotta go... Play Team Fortress 2. I'm gonna go eat spaghetti and play Team Fortress 2, which I think you'll all agree is unbelievably based. Uh, let's see who's streaming right now. And I will do, uh, I think next stream will be more Peggle Dinners. I do want to do that. Uh, hmm. Let's look around. Uh, should we go raid some rice? Yeah, they got one viewer right now. Let's go raid some rice. Alright, I uh, hope you guys had a fun time. I know I had a fun time. This is a good session. These streams have been so fun. It's nice to just be able to kind of, you know, a lot of times when I'm playing a game, it like distracts me so much that I can't even put sentences together so it's kind of nice to have these streams to just sort of shoot the shit while something vaguely interesting is sometimes happening and sometimes extremely interesting you know we i think there were a lot of good fights today there were even some good exhibs all right enjoy the rice see you later